In this video, I just want to introduce you to Desmos, the graphing calculator that we use. It's an app. It's available also as a website on laptops and desktops. The top of the screen when you open Desmos will be a graph. The bottom is a keyboard. We'll be using it to actually graph data. We'll actually put our table in Desmos. If you click on the plus on the right side, you can add a table, as I've done. You can change the variables at the top, x and y, or typical for algebra. But down in the lower left, there's an ABC. I'll press on that, and I can get a full alphabetic keyboard. I'll press on the shift key, and I'll go ahead and put in V for volume. That will come up in the laboratory. The first laboratory will use volume versus mass. Uh, you can have a lowercase m for mass. And for plotting points, uh, I'll click on the lower left, one, two, three. I can simply put in the x-axis value and the y-axis value, and I'll get a point on the graph. Um, if I click on the gear that was right above the table, you can change the color of the graph, tap on the green dot, and you can have a different color. You can have a circle uh, up there on the graph or an x. You can change the format of the point. When you're done, you simply say done. So the gear right above the table on the right side gives you access to those capabilities. So you can plot points on the graph. Let me uh, add another point to my table. Maybe put a point out here at 7 and 8 somewhere. So I've got two points on my graph. I can slide this around. I can shrink and expand it. If I just want to change one axis, I slide on the x-axis to shrink the x. I slide on the y-axis to shrink the y. And if I use two fingers diagonally, I can shrink and expand both. If I get lost, I can press on this home key to take me back home. If I want to put a line between those two points, I do have to remember what letters I used up here. That first column is my x values. The second column is my y values. So, and it's case sensitive, so I use a lowercase m, so I'll have to use a lowercase m here. And there was a 1 after it. I just type 1, the 1 goes down automatically. To get a line to fit two points, a best fit line, I'll click on the ABC, and at the bottom, towards the right, there's a little tilde. The tilde means approximately. Uh, Desmos will do full linear regressions on XY scatter plots. Uh, so I'll go ahead and, and do that. Um, and I'll use another letter for the slope. I'll just use P for the slope for now. And then uh, put in capital V to match the table. And then a 1 down here. And uh, plus, needs a y-intercept in this case, B. And there's a line right through the points. And Desmos is telling me the value of the slope. The P is the slope, 0.06 and the value of the y-intercept, 3.8. So this equation of this line in algebraic terms would be y equals 0.6x plus 3.8. Desmos is a full functioning scientific calculator with all the functions you might want in a scientific calculator, and it's free. So it's very capable, but we'll be using it to make tables, graphs, uh, and analyses, these linear, these regressions to fit to data. So that's a bit of an introduction to Desmos and how we'll use it. The other thing we'll then do is we can use screen capture to copy the graph, the table, and the analysis back to our laboratory report.